Coming to you from that once forgotten artery that pulses through the center of the continental United States and into the heart of the Ozarks, Grace Matthews. Looking in from the northern border, our Canadian friend, along with his countrymen feeling the effects of U.S. political issues, Connor Murphy. Welcome to Dueling Dot Episode 176 on Murphy here with Grace Matthews. Grace, how you doing? I'm doing very well. Good. Is Springfield in summer now? We are finally feeling summer. Yeah, we're the finally. The water is still cold here, but um, it feels a little more like summer. Yeah, we're swimming in the beaches here. We've had summer since the weekend, so I hope you had a good. Oh, it was a fabulous week. Good. good. Best one I've had in a while, so. Yeah, we had our long weekend the weekend before, and I yes, worked right through did. it. So yeah, I, I remember that. It so. wasn't much of a week. That's no fun. No. <laughs> Sometimes necessary, but not necessarily fun. Yeah. So. Yeah, well, when I woke up this morning, I thought, oh, there's just not that not much to talk about. <laughs> you know, it's been a long weekend, and... You know, about an hour later, I'm trying to decide what is the most important thing. Right. We, we kind of like to start with, um, you know, the leader or what we, we think is the leader or, or what we believe not being reported much elsewhere. Right. Um, it was hard to decide today oh. between the top two stories. And uh, the, the one we decided on is about an hour to tell you the truth. Oh, wow. Okay, super attorney Joe DeNova and his wife, Victoria. Okay. They a lot of times have information on DC stuff. I mean, it, it can relate to anything. I know. There's a couple of people out there that says Joe's been wrong before. He has been wrong before. He's usually not wrong. Okay? All right. So, as we're starting to piece together how the investigators started investigating and why the Russian collusion thing came about, he says, maybe we should take a step backwards, back to 2012. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Okay. So, okay. that would be when Obama was running for his second term. Okay. And he was running against Mitt Romney. Right. Okay. Righteous Mitt. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, so according to Joe, here's how he says it. Barack Obama's minions have been spying on his political opponents since the 2012 re-election. Wow. So, he says that Obama used the NSA files. He had a couple of people on it pulling information on anybody and everybody wow. that he wanted information on. Okay. Especially, you know, that was threatening him politically. Holy I mean, there smart. could be a lot of people. It would just be Mitt Romney. You know? You know? And pro maybe it would have been more obvious, except Mitt Romney is like a clean slate, you know. Right. Doesn't even drink Dr. Pepper before, <laughs> you know. So you have to figure that kind of how clean him and Ryan were made this less obvious. Yeah. Okay. That, uh, wow. So anyway, so really, what he's doing? They, they came up with the Russian gate to cover up the 2012 spying. I mean, right. I, that they did. I mean, and there's really no other word to use for spying. You know, I know that hates that word, but, you know, when the shoe fits, wear it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I mean, so I can't believe that. They didn't have a desire to also um, wiretap the president, Trump. Yeah. If he wasn't Trump. He would have been then candidate Trump. And if you'll remember, so he moved his his offices out of the Trump Tower. Right. And off site, somewhere in New Jersey. I, I, I'm not even know where it was in New Jersey. I'm going away. This goes back to 2012. 
it speaks to what a lot of people talk about with Obama and his um, Chicago style politics. Yeah. Wow. It really does. Now, let's 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 throw another scandal in here that might uncover up, according to the IRS IRS scandal. Remember they were stalling denying all these groups their their IRS status. Right. Uh, most of them were Tea Party. Right. And you had Lois Lerner, the head of the IRS pleading the fifth. Right. Huh. Everybody's like, why is she pleading the fifth? You know. You know? She she did agree that they had stalled these right wing I groups from getting their status. Right. You know, they're not for profit status with the IRS. Right. Okay? But she still pleaded the fifth. She still kept her retirement money. <laughs> a huge chunk. I believe she even got a bonus. Oh, lovely. She, she did step down. She was always supposed to come back and testify, but she never really did. Uh huh. Sound the okay, cover so up they, to me. So this was really a cover for information gathering done at the DOJ office. Huh. They did not really specify whether it would have been Eric Holder or Loretta Lynch or both. Um, in 2012, we have to assume it would have been Eric Holder. Right. Right. Okay. Let's take this a step further. Okay, and I was pulling all sorts of documents. You know, right. off phone records, computers. You gotta remember, after 911, we made it pretty easy for the government to do that. For example, you know, if we're talking on the phone and we use a keyword, a right. trigger word, they kind of have the right to listen to that phone conversation. Yeah, nowadays it's they just for, use use uh, Alexa and Google Home. Well, exactly. <laughs> but you got to know that Edward Snowden blew the top off of that. Right. right. And where is he hidden now? Is he still in Russia? I have no idea. He hasn't been in the news yeah. for a long yeah. time. Well, this had me thinking about him. So you've got him. You've got Chelsea Manning, right? Right. We're talking about her. She's been locked back up. Um, because she won't talk. But you also got to remember, she received life in prison and I'm going to let her out. Huh. Okay. Now, he didn't exactly erase her record. Right. Or he let her out of jail. You've also got Assange. Yeah. Being, I assume extradited in the United States on 18 counts. Yeah, I think as soon as he's done in the UK facing the charges there, which are minor charges. Yeah, they're all minor. But I wonder if the Trump administration thinks that he will have information that will help them blow the top off of this Obama spy. Wow. Obama spy gate, I guess. Holy smoke, that's big. And I think it's going to get bigger, and we're going to learn more. Like I said, this is just about an hour old, right? Uh, at least in my mind. Um, and I, I'm sort of drawing this Assange thing in, but we keep talking about it. Why is Assange worth it? Because really, he published some information. It would be hard to believe he wasn't exactly a journalist. Yeah, exactly. Now, you got to also remember Mama took down several journalists. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Okay. okay. Which I believe is odd. I don't believe presidents usually spy on and um, punish journalists. <laughs> well, you come to Canada. To <laughs> we got well, Trudeau yeah, doing that up here. In the United States. So, yeah. uh, watch out for this. Um, this could start to answer some questions. Wow. Yeah. But actually, if you think about it, it's starting to make some sense. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. When you put it that way, you're, exactly. you're correct. I so, know, yeah. I, I didn't dream that he was doing this from 20. Yeah. So, 
That's kind of shocking. Yeah, and, and one might start to think that um, he felt entitled. Well, I guess so. During his whole press, he felt entitled to information that um, our republic has never believed anyone was entitled to without yeah. due process and cause. You can't go looking for a crime. You have uh, to have some sort of evidence to suggest a crime has been committed. Yeah, obviously that's, uh, you know, it makes sense of the IRS scandal, though. Oh, exactly. Huh. Well, and, 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 you know, you've got Trump declassified some of these documents left. Yeah. And he said that they could be used at the discretion of the AG, AG Barr. Right. He didn't say they were all going to be put out there for God and everybody to look at. He just said, you know, the people do need to know and understand how this investigation goes. You know, if you believe it helps and it does not hurt, for example, the spy community, I am giving you permission to let this out. Okay, big news. Could be. Yeah, yeah, I think so. So, okay, Diane Feinstein. I will tell you, she is a Democrat that I was rather fond of until the past, oh, about this time last year, and the Kavanaugh situation had me thinking twice about how I felt about Diane Feinstein, but she had a driver for about 15 years that was a Chinese spy. I don't remember <laughs> that came out in the last few months. Wow. She did let him go. But then on Friday, she has lunch with Iran. I just say Iran's foreign minister. Whoa. Without State Department approval. Now I gotta think about General Flynn. That's the kind of stuff he got in trouble for. Yeah. And he could possibly go to jail. I am telling you that the intelligence community is corrupt and negligent if they don't at the very least debrief her on that lunch. You got to yeah. know that things are getting nasty with Iran. We have just sent some troops over there. Yeah, what the hell? Stand by. As, at the same moment she was having lunch with this foreign minister, we were we had troops on a plane to go over there because things are just very unsettled. So what in the world did she think she was doing? Doesn't she have advice that say that's probably not a good idea? Um, where the hell were they? Or did yeah. she just go rogue? <sighs> wow. And what would you have to discuss with them? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, very interesting. I don't know, but the intelligence community definitely needs to debrief yeah. her. Well, the intelligence com com <laughs> community, I'm not sure how much uh, faith I have in them uh, over the last few years. I mean, mm -hmm. just hearing the last few uh, things we talked about, it makes you question, what the hell? Well, I said that to someone yesterday, and they said that I probably had a better chance of winning the lottery than <laughs> her getting debriefed. <laughs> yeah. And we have to quit enabling. I mean, the conservatives, the Republican Party are enabling bad behavior out of the left. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, I'm not, I didn't say throw her in jail, I said debrief her. Yeah. I mean, that is the very least. That's the very, you know, that's what it should have happened. He shouldn't have been railroading, railroaded into a lie. Right. Which, you know, you can be coerced into lying to the feds very easily. Yeah. Okay. Well. A week and a half ago, the Supreme Court decided that if you sue the maker of an app that you download off of Apple, then you have to name Apple in the suit because Apple takes a cut <laughs> of money. So that monetary 
exchange is a contract. Is a contract. Yeah. Now, I thought, oh, this is a big deal. And then nobody else said it was a big deal. So I said, okay, no, it's not a big deal. I'm back believing that I was right in the first place. Right. And I tell you why. Not because of Apple. Who cares? Apple's going to be. Who cares? You know, and a lot of the app developers don't have anything. Right. So, you know, if somebody gives you a bad app and you feel you need to sue them, you know, chances of you getting anything is like slim to none. Yeah, exactly. So at least if it's liable, you're going to get something. But let's think about other situations, new age of technology, where someone is getting a monetary exchange. Uh, for some work. most notably for example our podcast right now on a lot of platforms some of them do charge right okay we don't right. get money from it but they get money so if we say something are they going to get sued well, we should test that out <laughs> yeah well and I will tell you that um you can always find our show. We're on probably, at one point, we were on two platforms that either picked us up right. or we had placed ourselves on them. Okay? So right. if somebody decides not to run one of our shows because they're censoring us or they're afraid due to the Supreme Court decision they might get sued, you can find place else. Yeah. But I do believe that that is going to make these... these you know, like Spotify, iHeart, they're going to make, especially of political things. Right, right. Political well, we... speech is going to make them nervous, and some more so than others. You know, you talk about Pelosi, and everybody gets excited. I don't know why. Yeah, I mean, they put up with censorship. They, oh, they, we do. Yeah, yeah, if... And we have sometimes curtailed titles we would normally use. Uh, because a lot of times we're censored on the title, you know, but they also run the show. And if we say something they don't like, we'll get cut. Right. Yeah, uh, it, it, that's true. I mean, in, uh, last week is a, or last podcast is a good example, I guess. Exactly. Um, we, our lead story was about Pelosi. Although it was not a video in question, we didn't mention the video that made her seem as though she was drunk. I had no idea. Some people had suggested that it was Faith. altered. Yeah. 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 I, uh, but today, <laughs> the word is, no, it's not. In fact, Facebook believed it was real and said it runs. They didn't believe it was fake at all. Yeah, I, you know, I do a fair amount of editing, and I did not think for one second that it was altered. You could physically tell, like, it, just in the tone, a lower tone when you slow things down, though. So, and you can correct that, but no, that was done in real time. Sorry, it's yeah. not slowed down. Yeah, and you had the interviewer. You, you, you didn't lose uh, the sync. Of the, right. of the voice and the tape, and I, I don't know. And then, yeah. I don't think it will turn. I really don't, but um, I'm certainly. But there are experts that are now saying that was not altered. Yeah, well, you know, and she a public figure, and um, you know, if she does an interview, it, it's out there for, for the public domain. Well, I have total faith that Nancy Pelosi will create another drunk video in the future. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. Okay. Trump has endorsed from time to time OA1 America Network. And there are people out there talking about poor Fox. Fox News. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, Fox News needs their money. And I tell you, One America has worked very hard. They've got a DC base. They've put a lot of money behind it. Um, Go get them. Yeah, and you know, uh, yeah. Fox has done some pretty um, anti-Trump things lately too in the last. They six sure months. have. They sure have. And you know, they they bow down. Everybody, everybody shot a time. Everybody says something negative about their program. 
and they're beating everybody's pants off, but that can change. Yeah. If yeah. you want to be like the other networks, go be like the other networks. But guess what? They don't have ratings. Yeah, that's uh, that's totally true. Uh, yeah. And I think viewership over that. I do too. Yeah. Oh yeah, they have. Yeah, a lot of them have went to one. Uh, I'd also, also like, you know, Dish Network, you need to add OA, OAN. Yeah, good luck you're, with that. You're way behind. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Either left and maybe they need to be called out. Maybe so. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, you basically said that absolutely it, Olivia Jade knew her mom, Lori Laughlin, bribed her way into USC. Of course she did. And that all this other malarkey about her being upset with her parents and being out and not talking to her is just a, a show to try to save her face. And, Smoke and, oh, and yeah, mirrors. She wanted, to, she wanted to go back to USC. I mean, she wasn't even going to class. <laughs> Why did USC let her go back? I mean, I can't see one shred of a reason. Right. USC to let her come back. I mean, like, had she gotten in illegally and a great student? Okay, that's not the case. Well, maybe he thinks that uh, they need a few more pictures of her in that rowboat. <laughs> <laughs> she had hair that day. <laughs> yeah, she had to know she wasn't her. She, again, yeah. she know that about yourself. Yeah. Mom, Mom why am I in a canoe? <laughs> 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 Why are you taking pictures of me? <laughs> yeah, I mean, wouldn't that come up? You can't be that much of a bimbo. You absolutely can't be. Well, you never know. If I see myself in a tutu, I'm going to wonder why, okay? <laughs> exactly, exactly. I'm but I wonder if I have amnesia, first of all. <laughs> then again, I don't know runs in that family, so... Uh, apparently not. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh Lord. Oh Lordy. Okay, anyway, um, you know, some people will just blame anybody for anything. Usually Trump. <laughs> yeah, usually, but this time it's Mr. Pirro. Oh yeah, well he's a close and, second. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is just it, 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 if it wasn't so sad, it would be funny. But in in an Indiana synagogue you know, paint and swatch to kiss, you know, did some destructive things to the synagogue. Says it's all Ben Shapiro's fault. Ben Shapiro radicalized him. Does he not know that Ben <laughs> is Jewish? And he called alt right. Um, what? Okay. It just doesn't make sense. He said he wanted to intimidate the Jews. He says Jews control everything. In the world. Okay. Yeah. Ben, Ben, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, yeah. I mean, how do you manage that? He must, you know, I mean, is he like Sybil? He has like two or three yeah. different personalities? Or what? And one wears a yarmulke, the other doesn't. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Okay, be careful what you draw attention to is the moral of the story. Okay. Actually, we've said it before. Megan McCain, don't draw attention to your father, and especially his politics. She did it anyway, right? Right. She brings her father's politics into, you know, a, a boxing match with Trump, right. believing that she's going to come out ahead, and her father's legacy will come out ahead, and it, it right. blew up in her face. People were trying after the to not say anything about all the times he voted against the Republicans, but mostly what he did when it came to health care. Right, right. Which for Americans, the 30 Americans now, didn't have a super majority. We needed his vote. Okay? Right. Well, she, tell, she says, leave my father's legacy out of politics. Okay. She changed her damn mind. Yeah, She's well, the one that brought his death legacy into politics. Yeah, that didn't go how she planned, though. So, back battle. Yeah, yeah. well, she was a little brat. Yeah, yeah, and uh, another reason, another reason.
and not to watch the absolutely yeah absolutely well this is um, a story that really can upset you according to the Daily Mail biographer Dave Garo is coming out with a book and he was privy to some secret FBI tapes that show Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Um, uh, they're audio tapes mostly uh, maybe some videotapes they're going to be old obviously right. um, it proves that he had 40 to 45 affairs and laughed as Esther raped a woman I hope shred of that is not true wow this is going to wreck a lot of people I, I kind of hope that it's something cannot be verified that it's similar to uh, you know Trump killed Barbara Bush kind of thing. Right, right. And everybody like goes, you know, we really can't go there. Bush family, Bush biographer. Yeah. And then it just kind of goes. Yeah. Uh, I hope oh. that's kind of what happens here. Um, although, here, they say the tapes exist. And they should, considering how long it's been since Martin Luther King's death, it should be accessible to the public by now. Should be. Should uh, be. There's usually a 50-year rule. Right. So, I don't know. Yeah, you, you, it's close. Yeah. If it isn't. Wow. That's big news. Okay. How about royals behaving badly? Oh, what else is That's new? new? Yeah. <laughs> Markle is going to get the royal lunch with the... Oh. Yeah, you know... She married Harry. I mean, when you marry a royal, not only do you get a husband or a wife or whatever, you get a job. And the job is to be a diplomat. You don't have to like the people you dine with or you go to a charity event with. Right. But you can shake their you, hand. You just got to go. That's all you got to do. Well, her royal asked to stay in bed. Okay. I said, I'm bad. Yeah. She is paid to be a diplomat. She even cares about her politics. Just go to the lunch and smile. Yeah. And wear a damn nice dress that everybody will write about. Yeah, that's pretty rub right there is just what she's wearing. Isn't exactly. that true? Yeah. Yeah. So why she thinks it's okay for her to stay home, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Well, Angela Merkel invited all those the immigrants and refugees into Germany. Right. And now she says dark forces are rising in Europe, particularly <laughs> in Germany. Semitism is reaching a level it hasn't reached since World War II. <laughs> now let me tell you, nobody mm -hmm. contributed more to this problem than Angela Merkel. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Holy smoke. That's uh, yeah, really. That I, I, I don't know. I don't know. That's some kind of stupid, though. It is. You know, it you is. Know, you, you invite in the Jewish people's enemy, the Muslims, yeah. and now you're worried about anti Semitism. Okay. Yeah, well, and you become so afraid. Here's the problem with a lot of the politicians in the United States is you become so afraid of the Muslims. You start bending to Sharia law. Well, that's what Angela Merkel did. She quit serving. She made the schools quit serving pork. Oh, wow. Now, Jews have never eaten pork. Right. I know, I know there are Jews. Don't get me wrong. But... Because of bacon. Have the, Jews have, ever, <laughs> have the Jews ever asked that Christians not eat pork in the schools? No. Never. Yeah. Never. Okay, but the Muslims are there five... And yeah. the pork is insulting them. Somebody. And you've got government. Oh, we can't have you upset with pork. Yeah, but that is. Uh, is the least of our worries. Yeah, well, there's there's uh, places like sub doesn't serve pork anymore and things like that. So it, it's there's bending that way too. And that's ridiculous. I yeah. don't eat pork. Leave it on the I menu. Don't, I don't care. I mean, people in my house eat it. Don't order it. Yeah, yeah don't order it. At that's what I do. I don't order it. You know, I don't eat it. You know, nobody's making you eat anything. Exactly. 
Okay, wow. for all of our Missouri people, phenomenon in Kansas City, a woman gave birth to a healthy baby boy. And you go, oh boy, that's a phenomenon. <laughs> well, the really interesting thing is she didn't have any fallopian tubes. Oh. So it's kind of like with a miracle pregnancy. Three years prior, she had had her fallopian tube. Well, um, I, that, what? Yeah. I mean, that's what I know. I, I mean, possible. Um, apparently, there is. It is possible, but it is like crazy, crazy. You know, like one in millions of billions or something. Yeah, I don't know. We'll need a doctor to explain that one to me. Yeah. yeah. Some kind of magical pregnancy? I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's the next savior of the world. Oh, God. <laughs> hey. You never know. Hey, Coming to r rescue us all. The sign where Demi Moore gives birth to the uh, uh, Antichrist. Baby. Yeah. yeah, the baby without a soul. Yeah. yeah. Here you go. Oh, spooky. It's the beginning of the end. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's always the beginning of the end, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, it is for some people. Some stupid people. Okay, if someone dares to eat a slug, rhymes, mice, um, worms, don't do it. Yeah. You may think it's funny. You may think, oh, what's the worst thing to do? Make me throw up. Well, guess what? It can pass the blood ba brain barrier and kill you. Uh. You can get this crazy encephalitis going on and die. There's a couple, a married couple, which one might assume might be adults. Right. That were dared to eat a rat's brain. That was a week ago. And they died of bubonic plague. Oh, well, apparently lovely. in Hawaii, they have all, all sorts of people dying from these parasites. They're being dared to eat slugs, worms, insects. Don't do it. Well, it's so, God's way of weeding out the stupid. Yeah, it's right. It's uh, part of culling the herd. <laughs> we're yes. we're, we're going to see more stupid shit. And there, people are eating tight a year ago. What the hell? Oh, my God. That's right. I forgot about that. I, I don't know. I mean, you, gotta, you wonder. And you got to right. wonder what's going on with the Catholic Church. I, I mean, I'm not like, Catholic, okay? But if I right. was, I'd say get rid of Pope Francis. He kissed an imam's feet. Okay. The other day. Now, that is a Muslim man's feet. And on the heels of all the other decisions he's made, isn't someone cringing somewhere? Wow, what the hell? I, I saw a video of him the day. Um, you know, you're, when you meet the Pope, you're supposed to kind of uh, go down on one knee and kiss his ring? Yeah, he doesn't like that. No, he jerks his hand away like, like now, and people are like, what the hell? What did I do? It was hilarious, and it, it was just a long line of people uh, meeting him, and he, all he was doing was jerking his hand away before they could have kissed his ring. Well, <laughs> like, you know, if I was a superstitious theory person, okay, I would think that someone walked into the Catholic Church dressed as a lamb. Oh, yeah. Never know. Hmm. Okay. I, I, I'm just saying things like, Aren't right. Right. And and you know what? There's a lot of people predicting that uh, he's going to possibly be the last one. Oh, making Catholics sense now. Catholics are going to give money to a pope that kisses an imam's feet. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, like, no, when the money runs out. And it's running out. No, no. They're sure. having to pay it out the door for corrupt um, priests and, and corrupt Perhaps, nuns. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, it's it's everywhere. So, um, yeah, yeah. Not Catholic good. Church is not in good hands. No, they're closing churches all across this country because uh, people just aren't going anymore. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's not like they're they're not religious or, or they don't, they don't have. A, they're just done with the establishment. They've had exactly. enough. You exactly, know. and it's hurting our communities because churches do provide activities that don't cost money. Correct. But, you know, you you just can't keep it up if you think you're going to take your kids and they're going to be molested. You you think you're going to go for um, half um, you know victims. 
and if the Pope's going to do crazy nutty things. Right. It's just going to pay off victims now. Exactly. exactly. They might have to sell okay. some of the... Yeah, they have to <laughs> open up those downstairs. Gosh, wouldn't you love to know what's down there? Oh, yeah, they could probably end world hunger and clean up the environment all and just they answer in a one lot sale. Of questions. Yeah. I am. Yeah, I want to see that on the next episode of The Librarians. <laughs> they've already quit making them. Okay. <laughs> they can bring, bring it back for that one. For yeah. The, season. Uh, yeah. the vaults of the Vatican. Okay. Speaking of sad, crazy, and yesterday's news, I guess it's Bernie. Bernie thinks. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, he started something. Okay. And he sort of missed his boat because. He was robbed by the DNC right. and Hillary of his time. I mean, I'm not so sure, you know, who would have won between him and Trump. I'm pretty sure Bernie uh, would have won. I, you know, and a lot of these people on the left that are running have taken from his original platform. Right. The sad part is it has left him with a bunch of low information voters. Some of them can't even vote. <laughs> He's Great. done. Yeah, yeah. His time is over. Well, you know that that's the way they want it, I guess, because uh, they're they've put all their their bucks behind Joe. Yeah, another white guy. Old Egg, guy. Yeah, creepy old white guy. All their yeah. eggs are in another basket. I thought that the one thing they didn't want this cycle was a creepy old white guy. Exactly. I mean, isn't that what they said? It needs to be a person of color, if it's a woman. Yeah, I don't uh, get it. <laughs> and, and Joe is is pasty white. Yeah, yeah, you don't and get old, much whiter. And a male. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And um, he says things that are hurtful. He's just creepy. Creepy. <laughs> we have to agree there. Yeah, he's kind of a molester. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And and we don't always agree, but life's a journey and we're all in this together. Thanks for listening. Godspeed, Godspeed to all of our friends out there. Godspeed, Grayson. They're listening, everyone.